The RCMP has effectively policed this city since 1950. It's the latest development in the ongoing kerfuffle over the future of policing in Surrey. Mayor Brenda Locke announcing Friday that council has voted in favor of keeping the RCMP in the city. Their commitment and work to ensure public safety has never ever been an issue, not four years ago, and not now. The decision comes almost two months the after the BC government recommended the city move forward with its transition to the Surrey Police Service. It's not clear exactly what the final vote was or how each councillor voted as it was held during a closed door meeting on Thursday. One of the things that we all ran on was having an open and transparent government and this is clearly not what happened. But the saga doesn't end here. BC's public safety minister imposed conditions for keeping the RC and his staff still need to go over a city report to confirm those conditions have been met. The Surrey Police Service is still holding out hope. I am optimistic based on the information I have and uh, uh, I have to be that way because uh, of course I've got 400 employees that uh, have this hanging over their head and uh, I think the message has to be it's not over yet. There are a range of emotions and everybody is different, but we do need some finalization and we need some closure on this. I think we're getting uh, much closer to that. The city began the transition to a municipal police force in 2018 after Doug McCallum was elected mayor. But last October, Locke, who campaigned on a promise to keep the RCMP, won and began the process to reverse the transition. There is no question the decision on policing in Surrey rests with Surrey Council, the Premier and the Solicitor General have confirmed that fact. The Public Safety Minister has previously said the municipal service would cost about $30 million more per year than the RCMP, but he offered $150 million to the city to help pay for it. And keeping the RCMP means an estimated $72 million in severance for SPS officers. Whatever happens will come at a cost to taxpayers. In Surrey, Monica Gould, City News.